Oh, I bet I don't have either one of those up here. Good choice. <laughs> In the blue book, obviously. <laughs> morning. <laughs> What's the matter, Sue? Um, okay, uh, welcome. Uh, I think a lot of people are... What's the... Well, it's on, and this is on, and I don't know what the problem is. Okay. <laughs> I always feel like you're about to swallow the doggone thing before you... Uh, anyway, now, can you hear me? Um, I think a lot of people are, are sleeping in this morning because you can finally sleep. Uh, I, for one, am looking really forward to this week because I've had it with <laughs> the, the weather we've been having lately. Um, so, um, I have a few announcements. Um, one is about Stu, who... Um, Stu Wasowski has been in the hospital for a while, and, and um, as you might expect, he was ready to 
chew the furniture. <laughs> um, but his infection has cleared, finally. Uh, I don't know, they finally deduced that the infection was being caused by the pacemaker that had been, been put in like six weeks ago. And they finally let him come home, which they were reluctant to do. Um, but he came home with, with directions to not do anything outside of the house and to not do much of anything inside the house so as to not come in contact with anything. So um, he's, when I talked to Kathy yesterday, she said, well, he's sitting on a stool in the kitchen making cookies. <laughs> so <laughs> he's baking, of course. Um, so um, basically what he's waiting for is for a call from Strong that they can take out the offending pacemaker and then he was going to have to wait and be sterilized inside and out uh, for another maybe week or ten days or so before they can put in the other one um, but they were going to put in a, a, a intermediate one I guess and but in stews out of the out of the picture for a while is I guess the point <laughs> um, so um, Speaking of the Fix-It Cafe, which he and Kathy have been a part of, um, we need to have people who do have tools that haven't been a part of it so far to maybe step up because, as you all know, the seams are going to be leaving us too, and Bob Seam has been an integral part of that. So, um, so we need some more uh, willing talent, I guess I should say, um, to help us out with that. Uh, are there any other announcements? Joyce? That's Sue Charles's business. She does a great job. whenever they get ready, finished. They've been moving stuff gradually over. They have, they can stay in their house till the end of the year, but I don't, that's not the plan. Sadly, I don't know who told them they could leave. <laughs> Certainly didn't ask me. Well, you're, yeah. Anybody else? Okay, then if you would join me in our um, statement of, of purpose here. Be welcoming, be compassionate, be you bravely, be community. Now we can take another hymn selection. Two twenty three. When I survey the wonders across two twenty three, I'll play one through. Let's do one of two verses. Sound good? Alright, two verses. 
All right, join me in the call to worship. Glorious God, we come together as your people. We come as a praising people, singing your goodness. We come as a hungry people, longing to be fed. We come as a praying people, bringing our needs, our joys. We come as journeying people, looking for direction. In this sacred place of worship, empower us for faithful living. Let us worship the God of life. Gracious and generous God, you abound in faithfulness, mercy, and love toward us. We count it as a joy and a sacred gift to share with others what you have so freely given to us. Receive, we pray, the offerings of our hearts and lives that your name may be hallowed, your gospel proclaimed, and your kingdom on earth come on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. join me in the prayer of confession. For once you were in darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. May Christ give us the light that we may awaken to his truth. Walk as children of light as you pursue what is good, right, and true. May Christ give us the light that we may awaken to his truth. Take no part in works of darkness, but try to learn what is pleasing to God. May Christ give us the light that we may awaken to his truth. Christ has come among us, opening the eyes of the blind, bringing light to those who have walked in darkness. The miracle of Christ's transforming presence is offered to you this day. Receive the gift, walk in the light. Let the brightness of God's love shine through you. Amen. The peace of God be with you and also with you. <coughs> Share that peace. I'm sorry, what did you, oh yeah. Another hymn that goes with peace or fresh air or something. <laughs> We're still waiting for a suggestion. I have a list if we can think of any. <laughs> Your list is better than anybody's thinking right now, I guess. How about... Um, 3.39. 3.39, is that what you said, Jen? Yes. Three, 3.39. 3.39. Lift every... Oh, good, good one for this summer. While, while she's warming that up, I should say... If we have visitors, which we may have here this morning, um, don't forget to sign the book in the narthex so we know you're, you're here. And uh, be sure to get a loaf of bread from Michelle, and Kay will send you a, a little wreath. That's why we want you to sign the book and give us your address.
should have been singing along. I'm sorry. I... Okay. <laughs> it's a very pretty song. <laughs> Okay, you may be seated. Sing all. See that you join with the congregation as frequently as you can. Let not a slight degree of weakness or weariness hinder you. If it is a cross to you, take it up and you will find a blessing. Sing lustily and with courage. Beware of singing as if you were half dead or half asleep. They know us. But lift up your voice with strength. Be no more afraid of your voice now, no more ashamed of its being heard than when you sung the songs of Satan. Sing modestly. Do not bawl so as to be heard above or distinct from the rest of the congregation, that you may not destroy the harmony but strive to unite your voices together so as to make one clear, melodious sound. Sing in time. Whatever time is sung, be sure to keep with it. Do not run before nor stay behind it, but attend closely to the leading voices and move therewith as exactly as you can. And take care you sing not too slow this drawling way naturally steals on all who are lazy. <laughs> it is high time to drive it out from among us and sing all our tunes just as quick as we did at first. Above all, sing spiritually. Have an eye to God in every word you sing. Aim at pleasing God more than yourself or any other creature. In order to this, Attend strictly to the sense of what you sing and see that your heart is not carried away with the sound but offered to God continually. So shall your singing be such as God will approve of here and reward you when God cometh in the clouds of heaven. Here, uh, Susan is going to take over now for a few minutes. Okay. Spirit of God, fill our hearts. Make known your presence. When we cannot speak, speak for us. When we cannot cry out, cry out for us. When words fail us, give us your words. We are thankful that you intercede for us and go to the Father on our behalf. Lift our spirits when they are downcast. Give us strength when we have none and continually whisper truths to our hearts when we have forgotten the promises of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your work in our lives. Amen. Psalms 147, 1 through 7. Praise the Holy One, how good it is to sing to our God, who is gracious and a song of praise is fitting. God builds up Jerusalem. God gathers the outcasts of Israel. God heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. God, inter God determines the number of the stars and gives to all of them their names. Great is our God and abundance in power. God's understanding is beyond measure. God lifts up the downtrodden and casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to God with thanksgiving. Make melody to our God on the lyre. The words of the Lord. Thanks, thanks be, be to, to God. God. Psalms 89, 1 through 2. <laughs> Shorty. Our Lord will sing of your love forever. Everyone yet to be born will hear me praise your faithfulness. 
I will tell them God's love can always be trusted and his faithfulness lasts as long as the heavens. The words of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God. <laughs> it was a good song. We just oh, yeah. were could uh, we needed the we needed the choir to lead that one. seated. The second testament this morning is from the book of Matthew, chapter 26, verse 30. Hardly seems fair after all that Susan read. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. The words of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Like I said, it hardly seems fair to Susan after all she read. Okay, what was, the, what was the suggestion you had for him? 649. 649, he says. Okay. Let's hope it's something we've... I wasn't worried about your... Oh, we, yeah, we know this one. Yes. Oh, okay. did better with that one.
Tis you that are the music, not your song. The song is but a door which, opening wide, lets forth the pent-up melody inside. Your spirit's harmony, which strong, clear and strong, sing but you. Throughout your whole life long, your songs, your thoughts, your doings, each divide this perfect beauty, waves within a tide, or single notes amid a glorious throng. The song of earth has many different chords. Ocean has many moods and many tones, yet always ocean. In the damp spring woods, the painted trillium smiles, while crisp pine cones autumn alone can ripen. So is this one music with a thousand cadences? That was by Amy Lowell. Um, and my question is, <laughs> what role do you think music and hymn singing play in the spiritual life of this congregation or of individual members of the community? What role do you think music and hymn singing play? Susan? Consoling, helping, praising God. Our prayer to lift it up every time we hear music that we enjoy and when we are in church, the words are there to glorify the Lord and lift our us toward Him. I find myself sometimes singing hymns at home, just, you know, just, but I apologize for the people who have to listen to <laughs> me sing through this mic because I used to be able to stand back there when I, I was doing this and singing, but when you're wearing this, you really can't completely escape. And the people at home are getting <laughs> a probably worth, worse uh, time of it than you are. Anybody else? I think th these are all good ideas and they certainly sum up what I'm thinking. Barb? True. <laughs> Even if we aren't quite on the same page, <laughs> Bravely. <laughs> he, he, he promises that. <laughs> really <laughs> Let us hope so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're right. The, the other question, which I think we've already perhaps partly answered, what role does music and hymn singing play in your spiritual life? Like I said, I think we've already kind of batted that one around too. Yeah. And I remember a friend telling me that after her husband had a heart attack, she had the, the she had, this is back in the days of the LPs, <laughs> she had one of those with, the hymn, with hymns on it going all the time. Yes. Yes. 
and you always feel better. I mean, it's assuming it's that kind of a song. Yeah. Yes? Here's another poem. Oh, that's a great song, too. This next piece is from G.K. Chesterton, whom I don't usually think of as a, a um, poet, but this reads like a poem. Other loves may sink and settle, other loves may loosen slack, but I wander like a minstrel with a harp upon his back. Though the harp be on my bosom, though I finger and I fret, still my hope is all before me, for I cannot play it yet. In your strings is hid a music that no hand hath e'er let fall. In your soul is sealed a pleasure that you have not known at all. Pleasure subtle as your spirit, strange and slender as your frame, fiercer than the pain that folds you, softer than your sorrow's name. Not as mine, my soul's anointed, not as mine, the rude and light, easy mirth of many faces, swaggering pride of song and fight. Something stranger, something sweeter, something waiting you afar, secret as your stricken senses, magic as your sorrows are. But on this, God's supernal stretched but be stricken once. Hoary time is a beginner, life a bungler, death a dance. But I will not fear to match them. No, by God, I will not fear. I will learn you. I will play you. And the stars stand still to hear. Time for another. Five, four, six. Well, there are places here for two more after this one, so we can, we've got... Yeah, that, yeah, maybe that should come at the end, and... Okay, so what was... What was yours, Ramona? 321. A classic. <laughs> the church is one foundation, I'll see two verses. Oh, two books left.
may be seated. Okay, if you don't want to sit down, you can stand up. <laughs> How grateful we are for this house of worship and this place of prayer. Some of us came to church dragging our feet, and some of us arrived skipping maybe nobody today, I don't know. Some of us came joyfully singing, and some of us cannot even hear the music. Some of us came with hearts so heavy we can barely breathe, and some of us are so exhilarated we can hardly catch our breath. However we came, O oh God, here we are. Help us to be truly present during this time of worship to you and to each other. Forgive us for the times when our thoughts go round and round and we fail to hear what is being said. Grant us the grace to listen with open hearts and open minds and give us the courage to be brave, to reach out with one hand to you and with the other to reach out to those who need a helping hand, a calming touch, a quiet voice, a listening ear. And wait, may we depart as a people renewed in our faith and filled with hope, because all things are possible through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray when we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, you will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For you is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Do we have one more hand before we want to do the part again? I think so. Do we have one more hand, Joyce? I have one more hand. Before Joyce's um, parting him, does anybody have another suggestion? Yeah. That's in the blue book, 2173. Shine, Let's raise this roof.
<laughs> Next time. Next time. Yeah. All right, the last ten minutes after will be Let us rejoice at being servants of God, summoned by the Spirit, called into community, led by faith, inspired for service, and in all things consumed by joy. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. All right, the last ten one more time is five, four, six. Yes. Lord, dismiss us with your blessing. Let's just read these two verses. Peace.